everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to continue our how-to series in the American Battleship line in World of Warships. And today we are up to the Tier 6 Premium Battleship, the Arizona. Yes, how beautiful she is. Um, yeah, a little bit of a brief history about the Arizona. She was the one that was sunk in Pearl Harbor by the Japanese with, what is it, like 1,200 crew members on board and they all drowned, which was a sad and sorry day, may I add. But she is in the game as a tier six premium battleship. She is basically like the New Mexico. Well, pretty much same line of battleship. Um, so let's delve in then. She, let's start with our survivability. Uh, we're gonna be comparing the Arizona to the New Mexico in this because they're pretty much the same ship. So we need to see how they stack up. So let's start with survivability. She has 57,200 hit points. Now the New Mexico has 53,200 hit points. So you get about, what's that? Oh, about 4,000 more hit points. Well, that is 4,000 more hit points actually. So you get 4,000 more hit points, which you're gonna need. I'm not gonna to, uh, lie to you. Um, armor, she has 13 millimeters to 457 millimeters. Same as the Arizona really, there's slight differences, but if we go to the armor layout quickly, as you can see, the Citadel is below the waterline, as you can see. Pretty much standard on battleships, uh, US battleships. You don't want to be showing broadside because you will get citadeled. But it's a little bit harder because it's not above the waterline. Let's put the, that's back on. As you can see, there's the armor, armor belt thickness, 343 millimeters. So let's get rid of that. She has a torpedo protection reduction of 39% where the Arizona has 42%. I'm not sure if I've got a module on there or not for that, but um, she has a 39% torpedo protection. Right, moving on to the guns. The guns are exactly the same. We've got four, for, uh, four times three, 356 millimeters. So we've got four turrets, two super firing at the front, two super firing at the back. And yeah, the gun angles are pretty much the same as the New Mexico. So you've got pretty good gun angles. I will show you the gun angles in in the uh, battle video I've got lined up. Um, they're pretty much exactly the same. They've got a little bit less reload speed. I mean, yeah, New Mexico's got 34.2 seconds. The Arizona has 35 seconds. Um, yeah, pretty damn awful, if you ask me. Uh, tight rotation with the Captain Perk Expert Marksman is 48.6 seconds. So standard there, same dispersion, 246 meters and the same range with uh, plotting room upgrade, the modification one, 18.7 kilometers, which I will recommend. Um, so that's the guns, basically. Uh, yeah, pretty much the same. Um, she has a main, oh yeah, we've done that already. So it's secondary batteries, and secondary batteries are exactly the same again. We've got eight times 127 millimeters, 10 times one, 127 millimeters, and they have a firing range of 4.2 kilometers, and they are both HE, I believe. Uh, yep, they're both HE, so you've got um, a 9%, 6% chance of a fire. Now this is the difference between the New Mexico and the Arizona, the AA. The New Mexico has far better AA because I'm presuming it's the late war upgraded hull um, that the New Mexico received where obviously the Arizona never got to the late war because it was sunk in Pearl Harbor. So it still has the standard pre-war AA. So she has an AA rating of 34 where the New Mexico has an AA rating of 44. So that's 10 rating difference. Uh, the New Mexico has a maximum DPS of 193 damage per second at two kilometers. And obviously it's, it gets slows down to a maximum fire range of 4.2 kilometers. Whereas the Arizona, uh, the Arizona has a 1.2 kilometer, has 115 DPS, and the range goes out to 4.2 kilometers. So as you can see, the DPS is worse on the Arizona. So that's the IA going to maneuverability, same top speed of 21 knots. Yes, you should be used to that by now if you've got this far. Uh, yep, slow as hell, same turning radius of 640. Um, I have a rudder shift time of 11.7 seconds, but that's because I have the steering gears modification two. I will be talking about that later. Right, 
Concealment by sea is 12 kilometers, detectability range by air is 9.6, and detectability after firing the main guns in smoke is 12.5, pretty much the same as the New Mexico. Moving on, well, we're already on the module, so we might as well carry on. I would recommend the staple main arms modification one for the minus 20% of risk main battery becoming incapacitated and all that gumph. Um, I wouldn't recommend any of the others, maybe um, auxiliary, uh, auxiliary armaments modification one if you want to run an AA. Uh, build you don't want to be running the secondary build in the Arizona unfortunately moving on to number two I've gone for artillery plotting room modification of one um, you could go for AA guns modification two you do not want to be taking main battery, battery modification one yes the tote rotation speed would be lovely but adding another five percent to 35 seconds reload no you don't want to be doing that you'd be up to 37 and a half Second uh, seconds for your reload. Gold, that would be terrible. Moving on to the third slot. Damage control systems modification one. You're not going to get lose your propulsion. You're not going to lose your steering gear. So stick with damage control system modification one. And for the last slot, you've got two options really. Damage control system modification two for the minus 15% of the time to extinguish fires and recover from flooding. Or steering gears modification two to dodge them torpedoes, which are never leave going to be coming at you because you're the slowest ship on the goddamn map. Right, that is the upgrades. Now, as this is a premium ship, I've got my Iowa captain in here. And that's a 17 point captain. I will show you the uh, build. I've gone for priority target because I like to know who the hell is shooting at me and how many of them there are. I've gone for expert marksman. These are what, what I would start with as well. Uh, expert marksman. Then I've gone for superintendent. Concealment. Then I've gone for adrenaline rush. And I've gone for the fire prevention because the HE spam has become a pain in the bum. And this really helps because obviously you've got minus 10% to the risk of fire and it, you can only have three fires on your ship at one time instead of four and it's hard to get the fight the other two fires because they're on the, the the nose and the arse end of the ship the uh stern and bow even <laughs> not the arse end well anyway um but as you will see in the battle video it still doesn't really help me um you could go aa build which i'm probably going to put with my last three slots i'm going to go vigilance probably but you could go for the aa build but you don't see a lot of carriers that often now so it's quite the points kind of moot anyway people that is the build um let's get on to the battle video shall we hello people and welcome to the battle um this is a standard battle on estuary we have five battleships five cruisers and two dds on our side the enemy team have five bbs two cruisers and two dds on their size side and this is a tier 7 battle but only one tier 7 each and they're both destroyers so pretty much a tier 6 battle so the Arizona, slow as buggery, pretty much the same as the New, New Mexico, but she does have her perks, she's a premium ship, you're going to earn more credits, you're going to uh, get more experience, free experience that is, anyway, um, what's my plan, um, uh, right, I started on the west side of the map, and I'm just showing you the gun ang angles now, see the gun angles ain't too bad, you don't have to show too much broadside, anyway, I was going to head down the west side of the map because I started over here and to get over to the east side of the map will take forever. But I then thought to myself, it looks like all our battleships are going to the east side with three of our cruisers, one DD, and there's only four of us over here. So I'm trying to let this Akatsuki, at Akatsuki know. Um, don't bother pushing forward because I'm not heading down there on my own. Um, with just two cruisers and the Arctic Zuki, because if we, if uh, the enemy team pushes that side, we're going to die. So what am I going to do? I am going to get get myself into a position roughly in the centre of the map. Yes, it's in the centre of the cap zone, but this map doesn't really matter because, as you can see, 18.6 kilometres, I can pretty much shoot yeah, three quarters of the map. I'm going to get myself into a central position and then I can fire on anything really. I'll pop my spot plane to see if I can shoot this New York and then sail behind the island uh, so I can't shoot him. Um, yes, it's going to be a slow start to the battle because the Arizona takes forever to get anywhere but with the spot plane I can get some shots out on this Dunkirk that seems to be pushing in. Are these shots going to be any good? I doubt it. We are at quite a bit range and he decided to turn at the last minute and... Uh, we broke a shell. Yes, we broke a shell. 
Anyway, as you can see, I'm now getting up to full speed. I'm going to get myself into a central location. Looks like our team's going to push hard down the east. So I'm going to move over to the central location, get behind this island so I can't get shots into my broadside from anyone on the enemy team pushing up the west. And I'm just going to keep opening fire at long range on this Queen Elizabeth and see if we can get some damage. Uh, like I said, it's a bit of a slow start to the game. But it will pick up towards the end, as you will see. And I managed to get, ooh, 3,399 damage there on the Queen Elizabeth. I'll take that at uh, a range of 18.9 kilometers. And we're doing okay so far. No one's died, which is amazing. I mean, I have struggled to get this battle video, people, because for some other reason, I did try and do it on the weekend. I'm not saying anything. I am not saying anything about the weekend. But I did try to get this video over the weekend and oh my I could not buy a win was it because I can't sail the ship I don't think so it was just purely because I'll do my job but no one else would do theirs but anyway I got shots out in that Fiji and he decided to run away like the pesky little British cruiser he is and I missed my shots right as you can see the Akatsuki's pushing around their islands in the middle and we've got two cruisers with us which is a bit strange i don't know if they have any good there but looks like one of them's pushing south and the other one's going to push north back around the island for some reason but i'm going to keep up try and get some fire into the flanks of these ships as they're pushing through but obviously the island's in my way so we'll try on the old konigsberg 10 kilometers and i think i underled this let's have a look see if these shots are any good i can't quite remember um, it's looking okay, we're gonna, looks like we're going to get some. Oh, we got 4,120 damage there. And as you can see, these shells are quite slow, really. You've got to lead a little bit. Um, a little bit more, I think, uh, because the shell speed is about 800 meters per second. So you have to lead a little bit more than you would normally. Uh, the Fiji pops up there. I'll try, I'll try to get round and get some shots on her. But as you can see, the 34.7 second reload or whatever it is, um, yeah, it's a pain in the bum. Um, you're going to be doing a lot of this in the New Mexico and the Arizona. Move in slowly, not getting very, anywhere very fast, and waiting for your turrets to rotate and reload. Anyway, we've got a lugless that's just been taken out by our Algerie, but the Algerie has just been taken out by the Algerie. Al Al so we've just both lost a ship each. Obviously, the caps, uh, the cap points are exactly the same because this is standard battle, not domination. Anyway, as you can see, there's a nice big cluster to the east of our enemy ships. Uh, of our enemy ships, sorry, our ships. They're all having a party over there. I do not know what they're doing, but as you will see, probably in a minute, yeah. They don't do particularly well over there. I don't know why. Maybe it's because there is a Shinonome over there, and... I believe they're gonna, all going to eat tops. Anyway, I spot, well I don't spot, but someone spots this Fiji pushing round. And I'm thinking to myself, if he keeps pushing, I might get some nice juicy shots into his broadside. So I'm just going to slowly edge towards the island and wait and see if he pops round. And we've just lost our Queen Elizabeth to the enemy Queen Elizabeth. So there's one ship down on the eastern side. Yeah, not doing too well over there, are you chaps? Anyway, this Fiji's pushing around. The Akatsuki's managed to get some torpedoes out on him, so maybe they will connect. Um, they're looking good. And now we're just going to wait, aim for the water line, a little bit of lead, and shots out. Are these going to be any good? And we managed to do 11,330 damage with one damage. Citadel. I underled slightly. If I'd have led a bit more, that probably would have been better, but we, at least we did a bit of damage to him. And he turns away and decides to run away into his smoke i believe but as you can see he's spotting me we've got a atikzuki on the far west side of the map not worried about him whatsoever because there is no cap points over there uh but we managed to eat 2000 damage from the fiji is that was that for you? i believe that was a fiji and he smokes up so i've got to be aware he may have launched his torpedoes and i've kind of overextended into the middle now Oh, we get another 9,589 damage on the Fiji. Take that, sir. And there's our first fire. But I will not be repairing this fire because one fire do not repair. Because if there was torpedoes coming and I hit them, oh, they're flooding for the duration. Or if I get set on fire again, I'm going to burn again. But I have fire prevention, so that should stop uh, at least getting two fires on the center part of the ship. But as you can see, I'm on fire, but the whole center of the ship is on fire. 
So I'm ex I was expecting torpedoes from this Fiji, but they never come, and it looks like he's running away. So I'm going to turn around and get away from the islands for a bit, just in case there is some, some poor ass butt sets coming. And as you can see, yeah, all them ships over on the east are gone. They didn't last too long, and that was the bane of my existence trying to make this video. Start off well, get a bit of damage, and then my team would fold. And then it would be down to me and a couple of other ships to carry the game, and in the Arizona, it is hard to carry games because you are slow, you're not that tanky, you're easy to hit. Yeah, so anyway, we're going to have to see if we can pull this one out of the bag. So we've got New York and a Konigsberg over there, and, but I'm waiting for this Akatsuki to push round. So I'm going to slow down and wait for him to uh, see if he pushes round this island, but I've got to be aware he's going to have torpedoes. Yeah, I've, my, my friend the Akatsuki sends torpedoes and starts engaging him. Um, we've got a Queen Elizabeth over there, very, very low hit points. Maybe they can take one of them ships out and do some work, but it looks like we're going to lose our Kaiser to torpedoes from the Shimano, Sh Shinonome. God, that's quite a, quite a mouthful. Um, right, so we have now got two, four, six ships left. They have two, four, six, eight ships left. So we have a ship deficit, obviously a point deficit, and all our ships are spread out all over the map. No one is together apart from me and this cruiser. Um, yeah, not very good positioning, but I'm gonna head over and see if I can help this Gerd out on the east side because the east side was the one that was getting pushed hardest, and I'm gonna see if I can do some work over yonder. Um, our friendly Atikazuki managed to take out the enemy Atikazuki, so at least we managed to pull one ship back. But as you can see, I've done 28,438 damage in 10 minutes. Not the best. Told you it was a slow start, but it, trust me, it gets a bit better. Um, they have... Yeah, they have the ship advantage and definitely have the positional advantage, I would say. We've got an October Revolutionary, re, re, an October Revolution over there. We've got a Konigsberg as well. I'm going to see if I can get some shots out on this October Revolution in a minute, but I'm not going to fire yet. I'm going to try and get into position. And there's the Shinonome. The, that Shinonome is going to be the fawn in our side. Let's just put it that way. Uh, definitely going to be the fall in our side. So we're going to get some shots out on this October Revolution, see if we can do some damage. I'm going to turn in because obviously I'm showing a bit, bit too much broadside to this New York. Yes, the New York's um, dispersion is quite poor, but I don't really want to show my broadside to the New York. And we have a Mayoko pushing in as well and an October Revolution. So yes, slightly outnumbered on this side. Um, oh, I've just eaten about five to 6,000 damage there. More shells coming in. Ow, ow, ow. But I managed to get behind this island and I'm now unspotted. Uh, this scared, this scared, this German uh, tier six uh, destroyer kindly offers to drop smoke for me, but I decided to pop behind the island because at the end of the day, we sit in smoke. I'm still going to get spotted because of the new spotting mechanics. All right, I'm lining up on this broadside October Revolution, but I'm too close to the islands. So I can't get the shot out, but this Miyoko is about to spot me. So I'm going to see if I can take him out. And I'll fire one to see if he turns. But he keeps sailing straight at me and I miss. I'm waiting for him to turn. I've got four ships targeting me at the moment, as you can see. It's good to know that. He's turning, but he's not turning much. I fire, he turns back in. Uh, so I'll just fire my guns because he's going to play the hippie hippie shake dance um, against me and see if I can hit him. And oh, an over penetration. Fan duplitastic. So not particularly good, but I did notice something now. He's firing AP at me. And he's going to continue firing AP at me, and I find that quite strange because HE would be better against an angled battleship. Uh, that fire was not from the Mayoko because he's firing AP. That was from the New York. He will, we will see him again later, people. Anyway, broadside, fire at Mayoko. Can I manage to land these shots? Let's have a look. Good, they look good. No, Ooh, about six thousand. Way a Citadel, twelve thousand three hundred sixty. And I angle back in because he's firing AP. I'm not going to give a broadside. Um, yes, I used my damage con there. I accidentally pressed that, by the way, because I thought it was my heal. So I'm only healed one fire. What a plonker I was. Uh, yeah, 
<laughs> what a plonker. But anyway, we're going to continue angling away from the New York, angling away from the October Re Revolution and the Myoko, because he's still firing AP. Don't know what he's expecting to do with that AP against the battleship, but I uh, unleash with all my guns. He turns in at the last second, and we only do another overpenetration. Oh, pence. He is being a tricksy one. So we're going to have to play this cleverly. I mean, I'm carting away a bit now, and I'm getting a little bit too far away from the cap circle, and we lose our Cleveland, so it's four against six, but he's still firing AP. If he'd only loaded HE, he probably would have done a hell of a lot more damage, and he decided to sail broadside again, so try and line these shots up. I think I had the shakes or something because my targeting is a bit off. And another Citadel for 12,000 damage. Way sailing broadside, as Jingles will say. That's a paddling. He's done that twice now and he's eaten two Citadels. So we're up to 65,678 damage, three Citadels, but no kills. It's looking a bit dire. And we've managed to just drag a ship back, so it's not too bad, but someone is capping the point. Now, there's only one ship that can be capping the point. That's the Shimmer, Shimmer Nome. So, yeah, I've got to be aware of that. I'm aware of that, so I'm trying not to sail in a straight line. We managed to get some shots out, and we leave him on 276 hit points. Really? RNG, thank you for that. Um, but um, our front guns are rotating round, so we should be able to get these out and hopefully secure the kill. And up pops the Shinonome. What would you expect to be coming right about now, people? Torpedoes. You would think I would know that after many, many battles I've played, but no. I keep sailing in a straight line like a plonker. I slow down, and what I didn't realise, there's three six torpedoes i eat one on the nose because i'm a plonker i decide to turn away i repair the flooding and look two more coming this was a big mistake yes i managed to kill the Sh shinonome but i've just lost a lot of hit points like a plonker yes please if you see torpedoes turn into them don't turn away like i did there that was a very bad mistake by me and trust me it's going to come back and bite me in the bum anyway we now have the ship advantage. Well, well, we did have the ship advantage. Now we're even on ships. Uh, obviously, the point difference, because they've still got three battleships. But, yes, they have two October Revolutions and a New York. And like I said, we would see this New York again. And you will see him in a minute. Basically, I've done 73,507 damage. Two kills, three citadels. We've got five minutes left on the game. And I haven't really moved out of the cap. Now, you could call that cap camping, not pushing, but the reason I'm there is because I'm slow as hell and I couldn't get over to the east to help. And the west, there wasn't much happening on the west, and we've just lost our last destroyer. And I put wire because he tried to rush the October Revolution, and we could have done with him alive. You know, it, it would be handy for him to spot and maybe try and take them out from range, but he doesn't. Now, I believe it's the Myoko that's left on our team. He's going to be running from the two battleships. So that leaves me to deal with three battleships. But they're not going to push just yet. Well, this October Revolution isn't. I could get shots out on him now. But I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And I'm trying to get closer because I need to make my shots count. As you can see, I've got about 17,000... Well, 18,000 hit points left. And I need to make my hit points count because I've only got two hills left. I'm about to pop one in a second and then as, as, as you will see, I will not be able to heal up any more damage. And we have a full health New York coming in and we have two October Revolutions. Well, one's going after the Miyoko by the looks of it, but I don't know where the other one is sailing. So I'm gonna need my hit points and see what I can do. But we've got three and a half minutes left and it's not looking too good. So this New York's pushing in, as you can see, full health. And yes, as I was saying, the HE spam, I've said it in a couple of videos now, is a pain in the bum. Because the British are good at it, everyone's firing HE now. And as you're going to see, this New York is going to fire HE at me. HE at me. Um, even when I show broadside, he's going to fire a HE. And he's going to keep firing HE, and it's going to be a pain in the bum. But anyway, I'll take some shots, and I managed to do 3,500 damage, not too bad. And he fires back with the inevitable HE. Here it comes, HE to the rescue, and boom, 
There's the HE. And he took out some of my AA mounts. I don't know why there's AA mounts in the top of my ship. In the crow's nest up there. But apparently there is. But I did notice that the last position of... The other October Revolution was over there, so I angled my front guns. He's showing broadsides. We line it up. Are these going to be any good? Come on! Boom! And he's down. So, well, 96,000 damage, 280. 96,280 damage, sorry. Four Citadels, three kills. That was what we needed. Now, we're three points behind. Now, if this Mayoko had come over and been with me we could have teamed up and maybe taken out some ships but i'm left to fight an almost full health new york uh which is firing he which is going to be a pain so i heal up there's the first fire he's showing broadside so i'm going to open up to see if i can get any better damage than he's doing 13,000 damage i'll take that and now i'm going to fire my rear guns are these going to be any good um yes i also repaired one fire because I was worried about my hit points. And that's going to come back and bite me in the ass. I should have really held on to that repair. But hey, what you going to do? I've done it now. And uh, this New York's still sailing broadside. So we're going to get shot out of him again. He's firing HE. Um, not a lot of damage there. Yeah, dispersion trolled me there. And there's a fire again, which I can't repair now. Because I've used my damage control. And it looks like the October Revolution is aiming at me. And there's the other fire as well. So I've got two fires on me that I can't uh, put out. And they're going to burn for 40 seconds. I know I haven't got a lot of hit points. And yeah, the pain is real. If I hadn't used my damage control, I could have used it now. Get shots out on him again. Broadside, come on. Uh, 1,860, not what we wanted. Shots out again. These look okay. Oh, another Citadel, high caliber, and I'm dead. Let's watch gracefully as my ship sinks, people. If I hadn't used that damage control, I probably would have been okay. But, alas. Just can't carry enough. Anyway, people, let's get to the battle results screen. And yes, sadly, we ended up losing a defeat. But still, a good defeat. I managed to do 139,000 damage, 5 citadels, 3 kills, and I also managed to get a higher calibre. So not a bad outing in the Arizona, and it does show you what you can do in this slow-moving ship. I managed to finish top on the team with 1,245 base experience and that was enough for me to finish second overall so I think if that was a win that could have been near the 2,000 but unfortunately it wasn't so yeah I've, I've got to say not too bad considering but wish I'd won it damn I fired 54 shots and we did 139,000 damage. There were, well, we managed to fire 210 shells in the total. There was no other damage, but I did manage to tank a potential damage of 1 million. So not too bad. And as you can see, I managed to receive 102,000 damage. I managed to heal some of it up, but alas, it wasn't enough. If only I had kept hold of that damage control with the New York's. Uh, HE spam. I may have survived longer in this battle and we could have won, but yeah, my bad. I made a mistake. I'm only human. We managed to make 458,000 credits after paying the crew, so not too bad. It's not bad, little money maker. It's not the best, uh, but as premiums go, do I, would I recommend it? Yes. If you like the New Mexico, you're going to like the Arizona. Yes, the AA is worse, but that's about it. You get more hit points to compensate for it. Um... You are going to see a few carriers, but it's not too bad. They, they see you as an American battleship. They don't really attack you that much, I've found. But anyway, people, if you've liked this video, please smash the thumbs up. If you haven't, smash the thumbs down. Boo! Please leave a, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how I'm doing. Say hello. Say, how have, you, have you got the Arizona? Let me know how you're doing, Inna. And um, if you want to see a ship on the channel, just let me know. And... On that note, maybe consider subscribing to the channel as well. Check me out. I do other Let's Plays as well. Anyway, people, I will catch you in the next one.